presentations, public speaking, uh, lots of research to suggest that even for experienced business people, they don't enjoy it. So here are top 10 tips for presenting that will help. Tip one, manage your nerves. Most people say that they get nervous when they present. The fact is, nerves are good as long as you control the nerves. Uh, a little bit of the adrenaline rush before the presentation, I believe, is actually useful. So how do you control your nerves? Well, what you've got to think about is, think about something you've done, you did really well and done successful, and just uh, think through that, and use that sort of positive energy, that positive visualization to manage your nerves. Also think ahead of the presentation as if you were doing it now. Just visualize how you'd like it to go, and use that uh, as an example of uh, taking your time, and that will also help you control your nerves. Tip two. Be aware of your body language, voice, tone and pace. Remember that when you're presenting, people are looking at you as well as looking at the information you may have on the screen. So for example, don't stand with your arms folded even though you may feel comfortable, you may feel cold, people misinterpret that. Be aware of, uh, are you talking loud enough? Are you talking too soft? Use your voice to get people's attention. So sometimes you can talk a bit louder, Sometimes you can talk a bit softer. Sometimes you talk a bit faster. Sometimes you can talk a bit slower. Voice control and body language are really, really important in presenting. Tip three, pause regularly for effect and to give you thinking time. Pausing should be part of your presentation strategy. So for example, if you're making a key statement or you're offering the, your audience a key benefit, make that statement and pause for two or three seconds. Just like that. And also, use it to give you thinking time. Don't feel as though you've got to rush through your presentation. Pause shows confidence and pause gets people's attention. Tip four, know your audience, absolutely crucial. Uh, determine what they need to know, but also decide what they don't need to know. Don't give them information overload or information that's irrelevant. The more you can profile and tailor uh, your presentation to suit the audience's need, the greater chance of success you will have. Tip five, if you're using PowerPoint, avoid the classic death by PowerPoint. Don't use too much PowerPoint. PowerPoint should be used to support your presentation, not to drive it. Too many people hide behind PowerPoint. Use PowerPoint to your advantage. Tip six, to engage your audience, use the, the concept of logos, pathos, and ethos. Aristotle, two and a half thousand years ago, when he was training his students, said that in order to engage any audience or to influence any audience, you need to use logos, pathos, and ethos. So what does that mean? Logos is using a logical, rational argument to your message. Pathos is putting yourself in the audience's place, getting them emotionally engaged with you, understanding the value, what's really important to them. And ethos is about you as a presenter, building your credibility. So use your knowledge, use your personal experience. So logos, pathos, ethos, incredibly important. Tip seven, tell stories, use anecdotes and personal experience. That brings the presentation to life. People love stories. And if you can give them stories, anecdotes, or using your personal experience in relation to the subject that you're presenting, people are going to buy into that more and you're going to build your credibility. Tip eight, maintain eye contact with the audience and look at the screen less often. Many, many presenters talk to the screen. Avoid that. Talk to the audience, have eye contact, particularly if it's a small group, have eye contact with, with each person, hold eye contact for approximately four or five seconds, look at someone else, occasionally look at the screen. It is useful to look at the screen if you want to draw their attention to some key point, maybe on a, a flow chart or a, a Gantt chart or something like that. But Eye contact is crucial in presentations. Point nine, have a strong opening statement to get their attention. When you open a presentation, that is really a crucial point because people have got to feel comfortable with you and you've got to feel comfortable with them. Three things you must do at an opening. Introduce yourself, some kind of credibility statement. Have some attention grabber. Say something that will get their attention. And then the third stage is give them a high level overview of what the presentation's going to be about. Don't go into detail at this point. That's what the presentation's for. Tip 10, 
always finish with a strong summary highlighting whatever possible the benefits in other words you've done your opening you've carried out your presentation you've had the q a session leave the audience feeling good with a strong summary particularly if you're selling them benefits make sure they go away with the key points at the front of their mind so in summary there's your top 10 tips for presenting uh, bearing in mind i said at the beginning many people are nervous about presenting so please use them but of course there's no substitute for real training and developing your presentation skills so we can offer you an introduction to presentations we can offer you advanced presentation skills so if you're interested in anything around that give us a call contact me or any of the ir staff